hail and well met on this beautiful Friday evening. I do apologize, folks. I thought I had switched uh, the sound from uh, well, from the the device I was using before over to what I use for OBS. And uh, of course I didn't. So you've been sitting here staring at a stream is starting uh, screen, which I do apologize for. But hey, this is the land of uh, your pal Rune. Uh, and uh, when I'm not busy muting myself and forgetting to unmute myself, uh, I do silly things like forgetting to switch the stream over. So let's let's go let's go like this and just uh so like oh man i had i had this great initial thought that i was gonna uh you know, be up at 5 a.m. and, you know, a stream or like record for like whatever, five, six hours and, you know, you know, just uh, record it personally and then, uh, you know, post it as a VOD or whatever and then do some more streaming on it tonight. Uh, well, well, that didn't quite happen because uh, I and my infantile, uh, in my infantile way. Hey, Tonix, how you doing, brother? Uh, in my infantile way, I, I couldn't get to sleep at all last night. So I had like about an hour and 45, two hours worth of sleep. I did wake up at five o'clock uh, and then realized that there was an error message sitting on my screen from, from for, for the update. So well, that, that took about half an hour to 45 minutes to finish off. Uh, then I got logged in. I actually, I can't complain. Uh, that That's one thing I'm going to say. I, I don't know what other... Uh, like, it was Christmas. Oh, Tonics, I'm so jealous, dude. Uh, I just literally couldn't turn my brain off. Um, but I, I do want to give a huge shout out uh to square enix because my uh and and i know it wasn't the same for all servers because i you know i know ashen had a considerably larger queue when he <laughs> went to log in but the queue for goblin was only like five i think it was 568 something like that uh which went by like in, in a in a flash so i was i was in right away so like kudos to square enix i don't i haven't seen any complaints about it through my youtube feed at least uh but wow the first the first thing i noticed popping over to the uh and i just want to let people know so uh, I am, uh, I was, cur I was working on the Sapphire weapon, right? So the, so the G warriors there, the G, Lo the G warrior, the G warrior was upgraded. Yeah. Six minutes to log in. Like, I mean, like, come on the day of an expansion. That is, <laughs> that's a godsend, man. Like, I'm sorry. I come from old school. Wow. Where every, every expansion like world of warcraft oh my god like for the wrath of the lich king to log in man it took me hours of waiting in a queue so mm, fair enough fair enough uh that that's that's a good point tonix but uh you know we'll we'll oh look at the sun look at the lighting anyway so so back to my sapphire weapon story the G warrior was upgraded the texture on it was 
uh like now i didn't i didn't go through the 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 like the actual like fight or anything like that but it's like sitting right there beside you at the quest giver and the texture was actually upgraded for it um and then i uh teleported to the steps of all uh the steps of thal sorry um to uh get my free fantasia potion which i'm going to uh utilize shortly um and the first thing i noticed was how dazzling uh the the aetherite crystal was like the the main ethernet shard was i was like i think i stared at it for like a good six minutes i was like oh my god this is incredible and then of course i you know looked in at my outfit right like where now the tassels are actually separate you know the dagger isn't just like a 2d form like it's actually a 3d fixture on the outfit like the the upgrade is is uh absolutely phenomenal and even fat cat uh benefited from the upgrade because now when when he rolls over on his side he or she whatever your your pick but when they roll over on their side you can see their little pink toesies now So I got through, uh, I mean, I've only done two hours. Uh, we just finished up the tour and already, and I'll, I'll throw it. And I, and I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just spitballing stuff out there. But one of the things that kind of caught me off, well, not didn't catch me off guard, but one of the things that raised an eyebrow for me was the, the giants that had, well, basically built this place and how all of a sudden they've disappeared right uh i think this this smooth jazz music like the thing i love is they're doing everything to set up like it's vacation time and easy pc like but look look at these outfits guys like how they just pop also want to point out my new bow upgrade uh but yeah i i think this smooth jazz take it easy you know copacabana kind of music i think it's all a ruse i think there's some like big shit coming down the pipe but well, we'll find out, and I know I know a lot of you are uh, ahead of the the curve on me. Uh, I also spent uh, I also spent the better part of like three hours wrestling with editing uh, my vod for this morning. Um, I'm not even gonna get into that, but. Uh, <laughs> uh suffice to say uh i'll be looking uh, i'm i'm looking to into another uh video editor but anyways let's uh let's have a chit chat with uh Kryle. i was looking forward to trying some authentic tulialal cuisine but we should hurry and join alfano and the others of the palace oh and that was my favorite part when uh when uh, Boo Jalal or whatever his name was steps on the fucking tacos. I was like, they're still gonna taste good. They're in the bag. Like just eat, just just eat the pieces. But that's but that's rune for ya. Uh, all right, it's a bit of a climb to the top. But you can head up from the resplendent quarter, or even the eastern side of Talamarch if you prefer. Now that you have an idea of how the city's laid out, I'll let you find your own way to Valakashunsa. Yeah, it's called using the crystal, jackass. 
Uh, oh, the poor empty belly. But but you picked up the bag. Those are perfectly good tacos. For the love of God. They were in a bag just because someone stepped on them doesn't mean they aren't good. And hello, cutie. Oh my God, the graphical upgrade just brings out even more of the degeneracy. When he stepped on my tacos. Is that what you meant when you messaged me earlier, Ashen? I now have a new enemy. Because I was like, I was like, oh shit, that this has got to be something serious. But, but now, if, if you're serious about the taco thing, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, that's Ashen. But look at the textures, guys. Like, look at the... And and even in all da, I noticed that the... Like, I mean, the, the streets, the cobblestones and everything were just... Were quite, quite gorgeous. Oh, look at the lighting! Holy... See, yeah, now I just want to go everywhere on a world tour. <laughs> I, really, I, was, I pretty much, I didn't say it, but that's what was in my brain. When I when I teleported to Alda and I looked up and saw the, the crystal, I was like, ooh, shiny, like. That's so, t oh, that's awesome, Tonics. Because that's exactly, that's exactly what was in my head. Ooh, shiny. And like, look at the shadows. And look at the little fat cat shadow. I'm sorry. I know I'm getting, I'm getting overly excited. And by the way, folks. Uh, enabling, uh, I just want to point out to anyone who's, uh, watching this for some crazy reason, uh, that hasn't started Dawn Trail yet or doesn't know about this, but, uh, if you go into, uh, character configuration, uh, ba 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 I believe it's right on right on the first page uh, under uh, control settings. This is a godsend. The quest progression settings hiding nearby players when interacting with NPCs or quest NPCs is a godsend. Uh, I, I used it this morning. Uh, Oh, very cool. That's awesome. That's awesome, Tonics. But yeah, folks, anyone who's just popping in, uh, and if you're unaware that this uh, quality of life thing is available, it will definitely help you out uh, during these times of extremely high population and you're trying to talk to an NPC. Uh, I, I, uh, I hadn't enabled it as soon as I logged in, but I by the second quest, I was like, yeah, I remember there was some sort of Thing that would uh, make the person visible. So, as you can see, like, just like, I mean, look at the sheer amount of people that are just like, I mean, on the periphery of that. You made it. Good. Then we are all here. And see, and I love, and when you're interacting with them, it removes everyone. 
spotlight in in the radius so you can see the NPCs you're with. I'm still hungry enough to eat a whole roasted Calibri, but the contest won't wait for us forever. Let's see what let's see what kind of gear we get, baby. And like I was mentioning this morning, I love that they've changed the the quest complete and the quest pickup uh, sound. Oh my God! Look at that! Holy sh! Yes. I want that outfit. And I want to be a paladin badly. It reminds me of like freaking Tyrael, man. Holy. Woo! Anyways, oh, right, 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 right. New gear. Out of aiming. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> look at, look at me. Skip to 90. Oh, brother. No, 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 no. Don't, no, 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 no. I'll, uh, I, I'm definitely, get. I'm going to, I, I, uh, I've got the next couple weeks off. And I'm gonna get the leveling I gotta get done done. Uh holy sugar foot. Like just like like look at it, it the the most amazing thing is the accent. Like how they're how they're not like that like how the outfits aren't 2D anymore. Like the accents are actually a separate piece of from the fabric. Holy crap. Like even the pets look like, like the minions and stuff are just, wowzer. This, li this little, little uh, witch wizard, whatever. Love that outfit. Nice. On speaking to Aaronville, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Awesome. It's re recommended that you set aside sufficient time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. Let's get to it. Don't give me those shasty warnings. Oh, I didn't. Oh, geez, tonics. I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, my bad, brother. I've acquainted the twins with the city as best I could in a short time. Their unbridled enthusiasm made it rather difficult. Invariably, something catch their eye, spurring them to run down an alley to investigate. It was like herding a pair of unruly girls. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> I understand all too well. Shalian had the same effect on me. Right then. Now it's time we saw the inside of the palace. Papa will want to know I'm home and to meet the allies of Chosen. Look at the lighting. It's, it's, I think that's like 90% of it is that freaking lighting, man. It's amazing. Given how impulsive he is though, there is no telling what he might be in for. Or sorry, we. Awesome.
Oh, Istinian. There. Holy, look at his freaking armor. Holy shit. Like, look at the, look at the gear. What's the point? Why is he here? Uh. Oh, you know this man? Yeah. Whenever my father spots a promising opponent, he invites them to Sun Perch to duel. Pressing duties or no, he can't resist a good fight. He's gonna have one hell of a... <laughs> oh, pardon me, guys. Sorry. So the one city is crossing blades with. Look at his armor. And look at the lance. Holy shit. I fought in many a moon, if not longer. It is the privilege of a lifelong live to face such a formidable soul. Oh. <laughs> if it's formidable you want, then look no further than that man there. And once again, the reason why I love this freaking game, we're the hero. <laughs> I see you, warrior. You meant to visit Taral. Look at his armor. Look at the detail. Like, look at that pop. And then the lance. Holy shit. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. Ha <laughs> ha. And thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. Ha <laughs> ha You witnessed our bout. If you thought he was fearsome, that was with one head dozing. Yeah. I'm not sure I understand. The old man has been feeling his ears. Yeah, and he's still able to fight the Stinian. The head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. Ha 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 ha! But the head of reason, wiser of the two, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Enough about me, Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Lamachi. A term of endearment. It's what my family calls me. Yeah, the cutscenes, the cutscenes are so gorgeous now. And I mean they've always been gorgeous. I want to be very clear about that. But wowzers. It 
took the name while abroad, and have since grown accustomed to it. recruited allies. Ha! All tempered steel. Yet as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Just even the animation of the the mouths now. Like, and look at the eye flickers and stuff, like... Then I shall leave you to it. Good fortune, my friends. Of Mamuk, Bakun Chacha. Cool Chacha. You four will compete in the right of succession, the outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Serpent. I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. And it is time I yield my position. But mine is a torch that has never been passed. Tuli Yolan is young. And so I look to the always for inspiration. The rite of succession. The means by which the Autarch of Mamuk was chosen. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuli Yola I built is a nation of many peoples. Freaking awesome. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamuncha at all. So I gave the right of claimant, not only to the son I sired, but to my adopted children as well. Ha ha ha. Like, just look at her tiara there, right? Like... Wow. Yet the opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. Oh, no worries, Mr. Ashen. I, uh, I, I assumed thou, thou wert busy, uh, plumbing the depths of, uh, of somewhere. Now you have us to compete. 
compete against. Ah, though it seems the one head was already too afraid to face us in the tournament. <laughs> brother was in shock to Rol leading the Landsguard on a campaign to eradicate a Tural Vidral. Anyone with sense would know he was too busy for games. Look at the shadows. Look at the shadow. Now for the part you've been waiting to hear. The nature of the contest itself. I can, dude. Like, I mean, I'm only entering uh, our. Uh, this will be our three, technically, I guess. And I mean, I just, I mean, uh, like I was saying at the beginning, one of, one of the things that kind of really struck me as a little, uh, as a, as a little bit of a. Uh, you should this should set this should be this should be uh triggering something in you was the fact that was the 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 pillar that depicted the giants you know just disappearing right like they built the sky bridge and all that good stuff and now they're gone and then she's like on what would have caused the giants the you know Gulial or whatever they're called uh to be gone right so To triumph in the right of succession and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yoctural and find the city of gold. Nice. Like, just look at that. The carrot, the carrot on a stick narrative, one hundred percent. Look at that. Oh my God! Like, this is just. If I may, father. Hey, Koana. Speak, Koana. Oh, Koana. The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend, but after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. Yeah. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence? <laughs> Are you for us proof, my unbroken word? For I have seen it with my own four eyes. The city's real. All those years. Like just even. Uh... This was before the founding of Tuliyama. I travel the lands of Toral with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. I mean to have you do the same. But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. Wow. Bring them. Look at the armor. Oh my God, I want armor. Look at that paladin. Oh, yes, it does, sir. I was freaking out when Estinian was there. I was like, oh my God. Oh, look at my feathers. Oh my God.
Oh my god, I've got uh guys, I don't know if you can see it. Like I've got I've got goosebumps. Because of this crazy shit. Oh, the pillars. The Tuliyolo saga. Yeah, baby. You will retrace the path I walked to unite our peoples step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. Oh my Earn God! Keystones by performing the feats they ask of you. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the <laughs> ultimate objective. Well, that's that's because you're a machine, Ash, and you're a machine. Exactly. Exciting, isn't it? Damn straight it is. Fuck it, sign me tenants, up. Hunting festivals, and now this? You do so love your contests, Papa. <laughs> Papa. Yeah. <laughs> Were I a few years younger, I would have joined in myself, giving you a proper challenge. <laughs> you may think the ride is tedious or nonsensical, or both, but I am yielding our nation's throne. Well, of, of course, Ash, and of course. And I do, uh, and I do hope uh, Mrs. Shigura is uh, is uh, doing okay and recovering well. Let me have this final indulgence. A waste of time. Just name Bakunja as successor and be done with it. Whoa. I don't think so, a hole. The right of succession begins now. I'll be watching your progress when you had dizziness when standing up. Ah, uh, okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Most excellent. And Clement. Remember to collect your tablets before you leave. Ah. You are one of Lamachi's allies. Let's speak freely. Aww. I am Cryo Baldessian, representative of the students of Baldessian. My name is perhaps familiar to you? Aww. Ah. Little sweetheart. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded, and much of the writing is illegible. Even so, we managed to determine the essence of it. A request to investigate the Golden City. Addressed to my grandfather, Galuf. Included with the correspondence was this earring. Aww. A fairy tale and a piece of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is Look at the texture of the face. At work here. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? <laughs> no, not at this time. 
Okay, so so in other words, he's got stuff. I oh. have tasked the claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request, would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the right of succession. But once the contest is decided, I plan to entrust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you have best helped Lamachi win. Ha 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 ha! Very well, Dawn Servant. On my honor as a student of Valdesian, I will find your golden city. You rock, Kyle. Thank you for hearing my petition. Look how good she looks in the light. Oh my God, these cutscenes are gorgeous. How about that? She's grown into a remarkable young woman. You should be proud, Galov. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Too late to change your mind now, I suppose. But are you sure you wish to be part of this? Uh, yeah. Our third promise is not one to take no for an answer. Though you may have agreed to help, I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, this contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. Yeah. If you are second guessing your decision, tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. There's my buddy Graha. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Level 95. Holy sugar foot dashing. It's crushing it. I made my decision and I mean to see it through. Is that so? Yeah. Yes, pal. I will pal. speak no more of it then. As for my own involvement, I can no longer conduct myself as a mere guide, I think. Not after the dawn servant's revelation. Oh, yeah. Here they come. <laughs> it's Soroja. Such a fearsome mean. Make no mistake. There goes Duriola's mightiest warrior. Uh, uh, I think I think I'm going to be a, I think I'm going to be a lion man again. Crops and the children of our village go hungry. Once you ascend to the throne, I beg of you, grant my people new lands, please. Sir Elja. 
I found difficult, so that is good. Less learning. <laughs> Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas. Awesome. Look at the fabric. Oh my God. Oh my God. Soralcha, the first promise and commander of the Landscout. Soralcha, the Palacea. As he was so careful to remind the crowd, Soralcha is indeed the natural child of Gurun Jaja. And resilient son. Is that another title, like the first promise? After a fashion, common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Okay. Soralcha was born all the same. Yeah, rugs are amazing. Yes, yeah, actually, actually, yes, they are. Example of life, some yielding resilience. Oh, and by the way, Ashen, just want to thank you uh, for the coordinates for the uh, uh, the Fantasia uh, NPC. Totally used them uh, this morning. I mean, I I knew I knew that there was the free Fantasia there, but uh, I utilized your coordinates uh, most deftly, shall we say. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves. I know a hardened soldier when I see one. Yeah, you're you're standing you're standing kitty quarter to one right now. He's a natural swordsman. A gift he inherited from his father. Some oh, they sure they, they sure were, brother. The sire. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. This puts him in direct opposition to Uklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. Yeah. Oh, look at the trees in the background. You oh my god. That she spoke of a that's... claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Oraltia. The warmonger. Kyle, then level the new jobs. You, right? you got it. <sighs> the echo. It gave me a glimpse into Zawalja's ambitions. Deep and unknowable, like an abyss. Yeah. Yet at the same time, a roaring, unquenchable fire. It was a trifle terrifying, to be frank. Yeah, this dude looks cool too. His outfit is just, just sharp. more marvelous conveniences more dirigibles and trains and the like we need you in charge to make trading easier oh my god the duck bill visors the elders, they complain and complain about abandoning tradition but we're not like them afraid of everything foreign and new you have our wholehearted support with your ingenuity and knowledge you're sure to win the contest Forgive me, but the rite of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. And he's a gun break if and he's a gun breaker me. too, eh? Oh no, no, he's a uh, machinist, I guess. As always. <laughs> oh, that's a corner. Practical to a fault. Here we have Kona. The second promise. We spent time as a pupil at Charlian's own studio. Now that you mention it, I 
think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was Turali, much less from a royal family. That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. Look at the fabric of the... Like, like I was saying, uh, so this morning, the first thing that caught me off guard was how great that backpack looks with the boots and the, the lit lantern and stuff like that. Like, Aaronville is just... Uh, his entire outfit is stunning to, to look at. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and batter as only close siblings do. <laughs> How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser claimants. I don't I don't like you, dude. from your dawn servant that my kind should reign is mamulja tradition and has been so since before there was a tuliola i'll brush aside your feeble contenders and then you'll see who deserves your fiende <laughs> well said Brother. Wow. The Mamuja have finally found peace in Tuliolal. Ah, a pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. Talk us, we have destroyed gods for simply seeing. Yes, the the, this is true. Bakul Jaja, winner of the recent martial tournament, and the only claimant not of the Dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable, but you see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. What would he do with the throne should he win it? Oh, geez, I wonder. His policies and so forth. I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. But one thing seems certain. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class, and all others forced into subservience. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. Ah. There we are. There's our last. Oh. We wish for one thing and one thing only, third promise. To abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way, the Turoli way. Yeah. Galuri Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I won't let your pleas go unanswered. <laughs> Look, oh my god, I, I just can't stop being eye goggled by, <laughs> by the beauty. Uh, I really can't. Until Tuliolal was founded some 80 years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era, 
and they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Apologies, it's hard to get away. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't you worry, you sexy lioness. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. I place our precious third promise into your care. Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the Rite of Succession? Of the Dawn's promise? I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Yeah, you just wait. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona, who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. It's fine. More than anyone, I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Better. Better? Wuklamat, I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. <laughs> yes, hurry along. I await word of your victory with bated breath. <laughs> Look at the clouds. Holy sugarfoot. I don't know if there's an MMO of the scale that looks this good. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, and I missed that one, Ash. I, uh, I, like, look at the clouds now. Holy flippin' flippity flip. Uh, but, all right, folks, uh, just bear with me one moment. I am going to take this, uh, chance to take a very quick bio break get a top up for my drink and uh we will continue that previous expansion yeah i i took quite a few this morning as well i i kind of i'm only taking a couple of a couple tonight because i'm i'm just gobsmacked uh So, so obviously, like the cool thing is, is I've got another character, <laughs> my original character who is, who is uh, max level ninety, ready to go for, uh, for this expansion too. So, <laughs> uh, maybe he'll be the one that does all the screenshots, but. Uh, Like, wow, like, I, I just, I sit there and I'm like, I am stunned at the, uh, it's subtle and not subtle. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not, it's not like we're playing a different game or anything like that. It's like, kind of like I was telling, uh, which one will do the captures for Aether <laughs> Well, the, the, I, I, I've got a plan for that, right? For for every region that I unlock, 
uh, and the uh, the aether current stuff pops up. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna level as fast or whatever, but I will uh, once a region uh, I've reached the MSQ where the the uh, aether the aetherite currents uh, quests are available and stuff. I'll do that with this guy. Um, and I know that that's maybe a long road or whatever, but I'm okay with that. Uh, Cause I'm just, I'm hanging with my fam, which is you guys. And uh, yeah, speaking of that, be right back folks. A slice of Chicago stuffed crust pizza. Oh my god, dude! If I had access to that, I, I literally would grab you a slice and ship it to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does feel uh, nice to fly in some of these zones uh, because, oh my god, it looks great. Well, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, like you say, I'm. God, this game looks so good. All right. Well, so much for a brief reunion I had in mind. Papa's not to waste time when he decides to act. I am used to it by now, of course, but others are often caught off guard. In any case, we should talk about how we're going to find the City of Gold. All we have to do, uh, all we have to work with are seven tablets and their connection to the Tilial Saga. Might I suggest first comparing the tablets against the pillars? We could check for any discrepancies between them. Good idea. Let's go and take a look. By the way, there's something very, uh, one of the, one of the passages in the, uh, the music for, uh, 
Tilia Lal, uh, or, or sorry, just one just second. I want to make sure I've got yeah, Tilia Lal. Uh, even though, even though I know it's, it's replicating. So the, the great thing about Final Fantasy 14, what it does or what the music director does is, is he finds a way to repurpose, uh, older themes and stuff. But one of the interesting things is there is there is a passage of uh, one of the well right now the the chord progression and the way it's played is almost verbatim uh, the end verse leading up to the chorus uh, in the Kiss song uh, tears are falling. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Take that, take that for what you will. Oh yeah. Well, 100% and that's at and that's what Final Fantasy has done. Oh, sorry, 14. I'm, I can't speak for the other chapters of the game or, or whatever you want to call them. But Final Fantasy 14 always, I mean, and, and it's usually just within the same expansion. They have several interpretations of the main theme song or a couple of themes, right? That makes everyone. Look, Lamont, the tablets, if you would. Of course. Everyone has a tablet. And let's compare to their respective pillars. Keep an eye out for even the smallest differences. The other thing I like what what the uh, creators slash developers <laughs> slash Yoshi P D with Final Fantasy fourteen. So when they uh they they obviously heavily uh utilize a culture to inspire stuff. And what and one of the coolest things is is that if you're if you're a, a, a mythological slash I don't know useless knowledge guy like me like you you see that they are they are very respectful of the college and uh, of the culture and just like I mean looking at the tablets though are it's very emblematic of stuff that I mean the real world has access to like you know like the you know the pictographs and stuff like that like it's I just I love stuff like that so much unless I'm missing something the glyphs appear to be identical the only difference being that the tablets have hollows where the keystones are to be fitted. Respect to cultures and mythologies. Yeah, well, well, 100%, right? Well, like Odin, 
Uh, and what was the what was the name of the ship on the moon? Is it Ragnarok or, or something like that? Like, yeah, like it's uh, it's pretty pretty freaking awesome. So now that we've established that the scenes are the same, how do we go from here? The Dawn Servant said we were to retrace the path he walked in uniting Tyrell's, Tyrell's peoples, and that we would encounter seven electors along the way. Then we have the answer here in front of us. Papa's path is all laid out in the Tullialal Saga. Well, and just, and, and the, and I, I guess the main, well, one of the main things that popped out to me just from a historical, uh, or sorry, a, a, a realistic historical, uh, point right you know with the giants right the go y'all or, or i can't i can't remember their exact name so forgive me guys but the giants that just up and disappeared and then they came in well that's what the mayans did the mayans up and disappeared and then the aztecs came in right so I, I I mean, there's correlations there that I that I very much appreciate. I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, the events, uh, the glyphs portray. Do we know the exact locations where they took place? If one is close, we could go there and search for an elector. That would confirm we're on the right track. <laughs> so collect all seven Dragon Balls. Got it. Yes. Hmm. Let me think. The Lay of Reeds was in the nearby Hanohano, a settlement. Papa took me there once. It was during festival season, and the whole village was alive with good cheer. There is also the Lay of Gold. That one involved the Pelu Pelu village, which is about the same distance from here. Before going anywhere, we should ask about the road ab about the road ahead. I heard a lot of talk as we toured the city about the storm we passed through at sea. Apparently, it ravaged Yachtaral several days ago. Since our roads are not as well paved as Eorosia's, they may be... they are more susceptible to damage from natural disasters. If we want to avoid wasting time taking a dead-end trail, I suggest we spend a few moments making inquiries. If it's information we need. <laughs> There's something in place. Yes. Just leave it to me. I'll bring the information to us. It would be prudent to ensure we are prepared for the journey. I'll guide you to the accommodations I've arranged. You got it, boss. The 
We're just gonna go like that. There we go. <laughs> oh, a little bit of the old, uh... Scoot Zoot Boogie. Uh... Reminds me of the squirrel nut zippers. That's right. The reservation is under Winkla Mott's name. Don't mind. I'll leave my companions to you. Certainly, sir. I'll go and track down the third promise. Once you've finished organizing your gear, you can meet us outside Zabali Tea. The Valley of Tea. Sorry. Greetings, visitors to Tilial, and welcome to the Forard, Forard Cabins. Whenever you're ready, I'll show you to your rooms. Surface level, they seem like your normal plot device, McGuffin. However, something is about strange about them. Yes. Uh. by which petitions filled by the citizenry of Taral. Here, 
folks. Okay, well, we're all good. Trust you to be the keenest to head out, Rune. That's right. But where are Wook uh, Aaronville and Wooklawat, I wonder? Oh, good. You're all here. Who might your companions be? Seeing as we needed information, I thought who better to get it from the locals? Those two hail from the villages we're thinking to visit. Still bloody tape on the fridge? My son says, Would you like a, a fridge with your tape? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, I remember years ago when we got uh when we had bought a new fridge and yes, there is like tape fucking everywhere. That little those little tabs. I give you credit for taking initiative at least. What do you mean at least? I am honored that the third promise would seek my advice. I too am happy to answer your question. Any encounter might be an opportunity to do business. Thank you both for your help. Ah, before we begin, there will be doubtless be other occasions when we need to act independently. So I brought these for the two of you. Oh, Link Pearls. What's this? Tis called a Link Pearl. A gemstone harvested from a special shell. When linked together, they allow people to communicate across great distances. Is that so? What a handy thing to have. Well, Aaronville should be familiar with them. It'll be very useful in our, on our travels. Speaking of which, I should get back to introducing my two new friends here. The Tulia Lal saga features a number of Tulal clans. Two of those, the Hanu Hanu and the Pelopo, have had settlements relatively close to the city, so I brought a representative of each. As I mentioned before, the Hanu are a cheerful people who love their festivals. They make their appearance in the Lay of Reeds, and their home village, Okanu, is located in Kozomarko. Sorry, Kozomaka. The other, smaller foe, is one of the Pelu, a clan of business minded folk from Kopaka. They appear in the Lay of Gold and craft all kinds of marvelous goods in Wakupelu, their village. Now, as for divine, 
deciding which village to visit first. Why don't you put your adventure's instinct to of yours to work for us soon? Pick our destination. Oh shit. <laughs> Second quest path will become available when the respective NPC once you've completed the series of quests from the first path. Of course! I like the big, I like the big feathery owl boy. So you completed the series quest. Oh, I had, I had to go with the big, I had to go with the big Hanu Hanu. I, uh, I, I think they're, they're, they're gorgeous. So, what is it you would like to know? We're out to Okanu. We go south of the Arch of Dawn, then follow the road which runs alongside the Kazumaku River. Is that right? First time for the same reason? Yeah, no, they're just... And I mean, I like the Vanny Vanny too, right? Like, uh, they're... They're awesome looking creatures, right? It, it's kind of how I picture uh, a sentient owl bear to look, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It is, be warned, however. My brethren tell me recent storm has rendered the path even muddier, muddier than usual. But he is quite poor in some parts. Far worse was the destruction visited upon our homes, though. Houses were torn apart, several people injured, if not killed. Even our beloved festival was in danger of being called off this year. Do you still plan on going? I must urge you to proceed with caution. We'll be sure to watch our footing. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Now I am worried for the Hanu. It sounds like they are hit hard by the storm. Anyway, if we're bound for Kozam Aku Uka, we should head over to the arch. We'll be back to talk to you in good time, Master Merchant. Meanwhile, you can eat and drink your fill at Zabliyav Tia. It'll all be arranged. Very cool. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, look at, oh, bunny girl doing the Manderville. My goodness. Holy. Okay, okay, okay. Pay attention, Ruth. Come on now. Soon back to 14. Good man, good man. Oh, 
Are we all ready to leave? And onward to Kazam Aka. Open the way. Kosamauka, the land of rainbow terraces. Wow. It commands the gaze of all who visit without fail. The many colored marvel. An endless torrent of water cascades over sheer cliffs to shape the wetlands below. To its relentless flow, all life must yield. Together with Wuklamat, we proceeded along the marshy trail, a road upon which the Dawn Servant and his comrades once traveled. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the greenery. Look at those falls. Even from this distance, you can feel the weight of that water. <laughs> Pointing out their graphical upgrade, I just wanna I just wanna mention. <laughs> As you can see, Tulihyola does not want for natural wonders. Can't him come visit you either. No, do you? yeah, no, I know, brother. Not for not for a while, anyways. The ground is swampy, so watch your step. You wouldn't want to fall into a bog. I won't. I told you I've been here before. <laughs> Come on, Okanu isn't much farther. Look at that, folks. Come on. Oh, yeah, with my new, with my new, uh, Megan outfit. Yeah, yeah, baby. One thousand. Whoa. There's no stopping the third promise, is there? A good thing she has Aaronville to keep her from getting lost. Brawl is grumbling. He's certainly there for her. Everyone should be so lucky to have such a loyal childhood friend. On a legacy server? Yeah, probably so, sir. Pardon me. Right, let's get moving. If we continue along this road, we should find ourselves in the village before long. Oh my god oh my god oh so it was just like you were hoping for ashen look at the monsters oh my god gorgeous 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 <laughs> awesome ashen Oh my 
God, this is gorgeous. Look at them. God, oh my God, oh my God. Eolon. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Woo! The vapors! Giving me the vapors! Ah, everyone has arrived, and none were worse for wear. Except for a certain third promise who slept in the mud despite my explicit warnings. Hey, I asked you not to say anything. Uh, anyway, this is the Hanu Hanu village I was telling you about. Ok Hanu. Lamont wishes to seek out the Dawn Servant Selector. Oh, look at the fires. Holy shit. It's like our friend said. The people are in no mood for festivities. Oh, yeah, yeah, like just, oh, uh, it's, it's everything, Ashen, like. I can only assume that they're still recovering from the damage wrought by the storm. Indeed. Well, let's do what we came to do and find this Elector. Yes. It's a Hanu greeting. Surely you heard it the last time you were here. Well, I was busy enjoying the festival. Greetings to the third promise and her entourage. I, Zedahali, welcome you to Akonu. As elder of my people, I shall also be fulfilling the duties of Elector during the Rite of Succession. So, our ideas about the Electors were correct? We just do as Papa said and retrace his path from the saga. I'm ready. Give me the feet and test my worth. All in good time, all in good time. In fact, I came to let you know that we are not quite ready to begin. <laughs> For the moment, please enjoy the hospitality of our village. Should we poke around a bit? We might pick up some clues about the feet. You know, prepare ourselves. That's surprisingly prudent of you. What? You think I'm being too cautious? No, no, I'm impressed is all. You admire and respect your father who is prone to decisive action. I expected you to rush in first and ask questions later or never. I do look up to Papa, but you should know that he was a pragmatic side too. The head of reason is the thinker who takes time to consider all possibilities. With the long naps he takes these days though, the head of resolve is less restrained by his wisdom. I cannot fault you for thinking that's all there is to him. 
but there's more to the dawn servant you then uh sorry more to the dawn servant you've seen thus far changes oh yeah 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 don't even get me started on that i should like to speak with the head of reason one day ah uh, well i'm sure you'll catch him awake soon enough how are you liking the game so far i wish i worked harder ah <laughs> uh, uh, this is this is unbelievable tonics i uh i uh they 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 double they double they double wham you with the awesome graphics and then they they're also double whamming you with uh an awesome msq that i mean we're we're all intelligence we're all, i was on reaper too. wow we're all quite intelligent lads and so when you when like i mean even right out of the gate you know even though this is set up oh we're on a vacation we're already at the beginning of something pretty epic. Um, to the to return at the subject at hand, you wish to take a look around Akhanu then? Do some groundwork before the feat begins. something like that i mean i could probably pass this test with my eyes closed but i'll keep us busy while we're waiting <laughs> well, clamad has the right of it as elder zanhali is a resident of this village learning more about it can only improve our chances in the feet Hell's Fury is coming. That's freaking. <laughs> you smashed my tacos. And now there is hell to pay. Meanwhile, Wuklamot, Rune, and myself will handle this northern half. Sounds good to me. Oh, look at the rain hitting the ground. Oh, my God. Look at this shit. Look at the rain hitting the ground. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. All right, so you were saying skills looks kind of janky. So the actions and traits. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what is going to happen to that gorgeous? No. Well, apparently that jackass just shows up later and gets a nice full taco to himself. I would I wouldn't feel so bad. I wouldn't feel so bad for him. Hey, okay, yeah. top tab so like right up here
Whoa, 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 whoa. Wide volley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, garage. Well, what the hell is the difference between... feeling like Raj. yeah which triggers yeah for fall Janeiro okay that's fine Yeah, it, it does. It does. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to look at some of that stuff later. Because that's what that changes into. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I'm scared waiting for my cue right now. I'm at idle trying to click a button every 10 minutes. Wait in line again. Yeah, no, 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 no. You you wait in queue, brother. Oh my god, look at look at that rug. To quote Ashen. Holy shit. Like, it's just like this is just perfect. Like it's just a little a little something something, if you know what I mean. Like So that, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah, perfect. Ha 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 ha. What a gorgeous village. All right, yeah, let's. Get our, get our asses attuned to the, uh, the main shard. Oh yeah, the wet the, the the wetness is totally like part of this awesome sauce, man. Like Like I mean it just yeah, and this is crazy. Okay, well that's uh okay, well Hey, I, 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 let's take a look here. <laughs> that bows indefinitely. Oh yeah. Like the old, the old ones that you used to put on like a water glass or whatever. That kept on like boop, boop. Boop. Oh, I know exactly what you mean, brother. And I know I know, I know Ash and shit too, because I think we're both older than you, so keeping a hole in the wall and missing portion of the roof are clearly the work of the storm's powerful winds. Repairs appear appear to be ongoing. Yeah, bobbing bird, exactly.
because I, 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 the my first memory of one of those is actually from a Bugs Bunny cartoon, a Bugs Bunny or uh, episode or Looney Tunes, I guess I should say. Yeah, go ahead and mute, brother. Oh, you heard about the storm? I have never seen the likes of it before. But the supplies and help the non servants sent are making progress and repairing and rebuilding our homes. But while roofs and walls can be re can be patched, there's so much else that has lost for good. That was lost for good. Oh. Look at the mist at the tops of the trees and stuff. Wow. Yeah, 100% tonics is awesome. A lot of houses are still damaged. The men who I've spoken to are not their usual cheerful selves. That storm broke more than the wood and reeds. There must be something I can do to help them. I'm going to look around a bit more. right there oh my god no oh, no 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 come on come on stop stop getting bamboozled here rune oh my god there's already people fishing here Yeah, exactly, Fatter Cat. Come on, buddy. Trying chunk of bundle suggests the reeds were harvested some time ago. Okay. Right. Oh my god, look look at how that the, the mounts move now. Oh my god, I remember seeing a video on this. I just Oh wow. Oh my god. Moon from reeds. This boat like vessel is reminiscent of a bird. The beak and feathered tail in, a, in, uh, in particular stand out. This boat must be woven for the same reeds I've seen gathered into bundles here and there. Plants hold both practical and cultural significance. The Hanu and hello, can you all hear me? I'm told they're ready to receive us now. Come to the large building in the south of the village. On my way. We ought to hurry over too. Look at that, look at the ropes and stuff from the rain. Oh my God. 
I know I know I'm being ridiculous, but just there there is so much to ooh and ah over, right? No sign of Zorolja or that oversized lout. How much easier it would be if Sorolja were to fail here. But that isn't likely to happen. Honored guests, I am Zanu Hali, elder of the Hanu. And just, I, I just want to point out to you the facial and mouth expressions now are just absolutely insane. Along with the eyes, like, like, just like, look at the blinking and stuff like that. <laughs> I'll show you the world. Yes. 100% melt. I am also an elector charged with judging which among you is worthy of ascending the throne. Without further ado, let us talk of the feet. <laughs> Not so fast. Surely you couldn't begin without us. Oh, yeah. Eh, he he is. He is my enemy number one. He is. I, I don't like him. He did step on our tacos, and he's just an asshole. Tower raid, the graphics are... Okay, <laughs> son of a bitch. Come on now, tonics. They're just too much. Look at the wood. And I don't mean that in an inappropriate no way. There is no time limit for this challenge. Now, if you would allow me to proceed. It is here in Okanu where my people Everyone get dawn him! Dawn servant during our own chapter of the Tuli Yolal saga. Wow. Look at that crystal. Oh, a nice music. In homage to those events, I have prepared for you the feet of reeds. Ooh. Reeds seem to be of great importance to the Hanu. I wonder what this feat entails. We use reeds in every part of our lives, be it as food or weaving material. But look around the nearby patties, and you will see that this season, our crops are failing. How fortunate, then, that my appointment to Elector coincided with this predicament. For surely, those who aspire to be Dawn Servant would find the matter of an ailing harvest a mere trifle to resolve. Well, it is indeed the duty of a ruler to address the people's woes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Do well in this, and you will earn my keystone. Why bother mucking about in the mud? Where we can take the stone by force. Whoa, asshole. No, you won't. Oh, mercy me. You are a hot headed fellow, Bakul Jaja. 
Some electors may enjoy going toe-to-toe -to -toe with scrappers like you, but I refuse to entertain your base instincts. Arrangements have been made. Should you attempt to engage a feat giver in combat without their consent, word of your immediate disqualification will be sent to the palace. If you're still feeling feisty, then by all means, draw your weapon. I want to kick this eyes, this guy's ass so bad. This contest is presided over by cowards. There's no sport in fighting you. Then we can return to the business of earning my keystone. The feat of reeds is begun. Claimants, I wish you the best of luck. The clever kitty crossed the seas to study foreign novelties. He might know tricks we don't. Tricks we can use. Like the, the, the magic user side of him is like that fucking, is like the picture in uh, the original player's handbook, first edition player's handbook. Of the uh, like obviously dunce kind of wizard, like this guy doesn't seem too uh, too much more intelligent than his uh, asshole warrior side. What of little Miss Mittens? <sighs> you know the answer to that. Compared to the first and second promise, she's a distant third, not even in the running. Then we see eye to eye on this brother. Being Bakul Jaja so long with me has rubbed off on you. <laughs> These allies of hers, though, they might be a problem. Yeah, it might be, eh? It's weird bulb of shifty eyes, yeah. Damn it. I'm just as qualified to be here as they are. I'll show them. Yeah, you will. Easy now. There's no time limit, remember? Let's keep calm and think things through. Right. You're right. I won't win against that lumbering vidrol by losing my head. Correct. Oh, you had a bad thought. You need time in the dark room. Oh, no, Ashen. What was that dark thought, sir? And by the way, I just want to, I just want to, uh, uh, once again, shout out, uh, to chat. I want to thank Ashen for, uh, providing, uh, some amazing, uh, sub uh icons or emotes for for the channel i just want to show the uh the ultimate the ultimate version you can have if you choose to uh not only follow me but uh actually sub the the old uh the the boo floof like that what a what a good looking kitty oh yes there we are the quadrum the quadrum it
All right. And uh, look at that. Look at the. Oh, my God. The, like, like, just look at that. This is blowing my mind. Like the, the wet planking and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, don't don't you worry, Ashen. You uh, we got it. We got to DT this 100 uh, percent. I'm going to take a very quick moment to have a quick bio break, get a top up for my drink. I will be back and we will continue the Don Trail MSQ. I want to thank everyone. Just popped in to uh, take a look at the channel. Please hit that follow button if you're feeling so inclined, as it does help the channel. And I will be right back. I'll lash in while I was up. Uh, I did uh, I did turn on a pot of coffee. I'm not sure how quick I'll be able to ship that to you, buddy. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. Wrong, wrong one. There we are. There we are. Uh, that will do the... <laughs> All right, uh, UPS slash Amazon, please ship to you, uh, Action Shigura's address ASAP. This carafe of coffee. All right, uh, boo, 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 boo. Lamont is here to help solve the Hanu Hanu's woes. Of course she is. I don't know the first thing about farming, but if there's a way to save the harvest and help the Hanu, then we are going to find it. I'll make Bakul Jaja eat his words. Of course you will, because I want to eat I want him to eat his words too. Understanding the nature of the problem will be the key to solving it. 
We need to examine the reeds themselves and then deduce the cause of their poor condition. Anvil, will you take us to the fields where the reeds are grown? Of course. Follow me. Nice. Oh, oh my little fat cat. Look at the texture in your in the ears now. And then the little the little pom pom tail. Oh my god. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. All right. Let's mount up. Time. Oh, time for your scritches. Oh, God. Yeah. And all the kitty treats in the world. All right, Ashen. Good stuff, brother. Ooh, shit. You can all stand back. I'll get to the bottom of this problem in no time. Give me strength. Let's all of us scour the fields and help our bold leader identify anything unusual. Oh my god, look at the chocobo's eyes now. Just, okay, like this, this is just getting stupid. And I mean by stupid, I mean amazing. Hey, as Zenahalai described the reed's superior wilted and unhealthy. Paddy water. Of a giant bird, yet yeah, no sugar foot and shit. Uh, the water contains no obvious kind of contaminants. It looks fresh and clear at a cursory glance. Soil and panties is one we would expect. Rich in color and suitably moist, not dry or flaky. Flaky. Catches your eye. Strangely lackadaisical, it doesn't even bother to hop when it eventually scurries away. Oh. Shiver me timbers. Whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah. Little, uh. Little bit of that. Seen enough, I call everyone together, and we can share our discoveries. Well, what do you think? Do we think? Any obvious problems? Agree. The waters look to be of good quality, as does the mud in which the reeds have been planted. The frogs and insects are unusually torpid. This suggests the problems is affecting not only the reeds, 
but also the creatures which live among them. Something invisible to the naked eye be pleading the water. We would need an alchemist to know for certain. I don't have much ad to add about the fields, but something else occurs to me. When you were describing how the creatures seemed lifeless, I couldn't help but be reminded of all the listless vi villages. They've suffered a terrible tragedy, I know. There's another reason for their flagging spirits, I believe. Go on. The festival. This is traditionally an occasion for celebration and renewal. So without it, the Han are struggling even more to recover. Last time I visited, the village was in the middle of the festivities. You've never seen Hanu Hanu more joyful and alive. It's an indispensable part of the culture, and its absence will only compound their woes. So I say we help them put on their festival, give them a reason to cheer in these sad times. Who knows? Maybe fixing one problem could lead us to a solution for the other. That's stranger things have happened. Right? I fail to see the relation between festival, festivals and fields. Let's not be too hasty in dismissing the idea. Things which seem unrelated can later prove to be connected in surprising ways. True. And being bereft of ideas as we are, any proposal is worth entertaining. I... I suppose. Besides, this is Work Lamont's journey. It's only right that we follow her lead. Thanks, everyone. By the way, does anyone know where the festival float is? It's like a boat woven from reeds that looks like a bird. In that big building to the north, let's go and see it. There's much less debate when I'm traveling alone. I kind of liked Aaronville a little bit more. Uh, before, before this experience, when we were just like meeting him in, uh, in Charlian, right? I mean, like, like, he's a good dude or whatever. He just, he's not, you know, you have one, one envisionment of him and then, and I mean, hey, that's, that's the way life goes, right? Like, <laughs> look at that outfit. Holy shit. 
the old pill, the pilgrim turkey chocobo bit. That's awesome. Yes, this is the float I remember. Oh, does it not appear somewhat damaged to you? We should take a closer look. Despite the festival float, you may move the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, goodness. I'm on. Okay. Oh dear, one of the bird's eyes seemed to be missing a gemstone. These tail feathers have seen better days. I swear the colors were a lot brighter the last time I saw them. Oh my goodness. Gotta have those bright tail feathers, folks. Percent nice. Oh, that's definitely broken. How would they lift this great big vessel without all the carrying poles intact? Well, I can see. Can all agree this bird boat is in dire need of repairs? Now, how should we go about fixing it? What is going on here? You are admiring your festival float. This is shame, it's in such poor state. Due to the recent storm, I gather. Yes, we had to leave it exposed while we ushered our people to safety. The float in this condition, there can be no lifting of wings. No, Ihana. Ihana. That's what the festival is called. I want to help you hold it. Have you not seen our village? Homes are ruined. We are struggling to make repairs. He wants us to hold a harvest festival. I know how it sounds, but giving into misery never improved anyone's situation. Celebration of life and growth may help you give the strength to work through this tragedy. The role of festival leader is mine this year. There's nothing I would like more than to lift everyone's spirits. But we don't have enough materials to repair the float. We need a bar kick saw for the missing eye. 
a yopal wood for the poles, and feathers from the winds chosen to adorn the tail. Two of these I know. Abakiksa is a type of precious stone used in arcane equipment. A yopal wood is essential for crafting ceremonial instruments. These chosen feathers, however, Wins chosen is victor of competition, which the contestants see who can blow a feather the furthest using the wind magics. That's something of a problem right now. And her work on a fix for it. Awesome. We Hanu Hanu are gifted at employing such airy sorceries, but expend a great deal of mana when doing so. We are so exhausted by the effort of having no reeds to eat it will only make it harder. I think I understand. Your vibrant needs grow quickly and vigorously, so much so that they strife that they stifle the development of nearby plants. They must be a potent source of energies you naturally lack. They are indeed. Owing to the poor harvest this year, we've been left enervated. And if we cannot gather the correct materials as dictated by custom, we cannot repair the festival float. Oddly enough, we may have just stumbled upon our solution. The wind's chosen would, by necess necessity, have a natural gift for manipulating magical energies, which means any feathers taken from the victor should be high in ethereal conductivity. The floats construction also requires a stone used in arcane equipment, as well as timber favored for ceremonial tools. The demand for such specific materials must have an underlying reason. Oh, look at the light. Like, look at the sunlight there. That's awesome. Float might also function as an arcane device. Radio of the float is actually a secret weapon for smiting the handy's foes. The float might also function as an arcane device. Precisely what I was thinking. The boat of reeds is in fact an arcane focus of some kind. A focus for what? Oh, yeah, Hana is a harvest festival, isn't it? That must mean the float is made to encourage healthy crops. So, if we repair the boat and hold the festival, its arcane powers might fix what's wrong with the reeds. Bingo. Won't know until we try, but just a sound theory. Celebration, prayer, ritual, ceremonies. These have all been known to elicit miraculous efforts. Wait, wait, wait. The float, a tool for magic. This is the first I'm hearing of it. In the beginning, it may well not have been. After a good harvest year, there would be no reason to change it. But when the harvest was poor, new adornments were likely added. 
and those who performed labor, we may have imbued their work with ardent hopes for a brighter future. So kind of like summoning a uh, primal. Through years of trial and error, the Hanu would have refined their festival to a focus for harvest prayers. Don't forget to eat food. Yes, 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 sir. Incredible. I know you're practically fainting from hunger, but reviving Ilihahana really does sound like the solution to all your woes. I promise we'll do everything in our power to help you. I'm still not convinced about this focus business, but I accept your aid nonetheless. I'll introduce you to the shipwright who's been maintaining the float these last few years. He's replaced both the eyes with the poles before, so he should know where and how to produce what we need. And allow Alice and I to acquire the feathers. We'll encourage the people of Akanu to gather and vie for the title of winds chosen by sharing with them our own reserves of mana. I'll go with you. I carry some alchemical brews that may afford the same effect. The three of us will visit the ship right then. me. I've worked hard to pick some float as best I can. The responsibility is mine, after all. I've not introduced myself, have I? My name is Lin Linuhanu. Nice to meet you, Linhano. And certainly, let's all go together. Thanks to Wook Lamont, we've found ourselves a promising way forward. Experience and knowledge are valuable assets, but there's something to be said for following one's instinct instincts. are exposed but hey whatever
Then Hanu wishes to take you to the shipwreck. Shipwreck's name is Wokevu. He is a Sprawl who only moved to Kazamako a few years ago, but has since mastered our customs to an almost frightening degree. He's especially strict when it comes to manners. So make sure to offer him a proper Anohanu greeting. We wouldn't want to offend him right before asking a favor. A proper Hanu Hanu greeting? Oh, uh, that one. Don't worry, I don't remember how it goes. We shouldn't have any problem. Let's head to Akbekbi, to the east of here. Alpaca dude. Look at that draw distance now. Holy crap. who drift into Kazama Oka from Tulialal and elsewhere are welcome to live here alongside Hanu. As for Wakibo, he lives and works in the House of Waters High at the top of that large tree nearby. Follow me. I should warn you, the climb up the stairs can be challenging.
Yeah, when the, the grass exactly, exactly ashen, I was like, oh my god, the grass is moving. This is awesome. Get it right there, Chinky. Oh, Kali. Oh, Kali. Good. You brought your manners with you. When you know Kanu, do as the Hanu do. For a country as diverse as ours, the preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. Ah, I appreciate an open mind. In fact, I get the sense we've met before. Ha 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 Oh, what an unexpected honor for old Wokevo. Here I am prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself. There is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette. Ah, uh, relax, buddy. Please, take up your axe and claim my impudent head. Oh my god. Keep your head. <laughs> I hate formalities anyway, so forget about it, all right? All right, then. Consider it forgotten. How Ding. prompt. We're actually here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape, and we needed to craft new carrying poles and a new eye. I'm told you work with Uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone, er, uh, abokisha? That I do. But while I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. We can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Send the third promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable. A gross violation of social protocol. <laughs> I told you not to worry about such things. Oh. Oh, shit. Damn it, I did not mean to click by that, but... What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season, and have come along to oversee the float's repair. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But that is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. Your education is impressive, Third Promise. <laughs> well, maybe a little. 
Allow me to show you where to procure Oyuipo. We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola, or thereabouts, and you should find the stones you need. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you. should save us some time. All right then, let's get moving. Oh shit. That wee little Weasley bastard. Yeah. Chosen one, one of your rivals is making progress. <sighs> Ihiana, you say? <laughs> Should our first choice fail to deliver, it might be wise to let this play out. <laughs> The third-rate promise is making herself useful, after all. No one wants your head. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I do hate to do this, folks. Uh, but I am, uh, feeling good and properly exhausted. I was, I, you know, due, due to the not sleeping last night, uh, trying to play catch up that didn't really work but uh i think this is a, a, a good place for me uh story-wise it kind of feels like we're, we're we're on to the next bout of uh excitement uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get myself a good and proper rest uh, this eve and we will start fresh and new tomorrow where I promise we will do a very healthy long stream uh, I'm just uh, like I say I, I'm uh, I'm absolutely exhausted but I'm super enjoying this but I would like to enjoy this a little bit more uh not having to stifle a yawn every every other second. Oh my god, look at the look at the car. Holy crap. You've got to be so proud, Tonics, because I know you have that car. Um Wow. And I, and, and by the way, Ashen, I can hardly wait to see the tank in a tank again. Cause that just cracks me up all the time and I know we're not going to be able to see it for a while. But uh, I can hardly wait to see that uh, monstrosity <laughs> make its, its presence known. But I think this is a, this is a great place for me to uh, park it for the night. I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, contributing to the channel but with your time uh and your subs and all that good stuff uh folks 
I love you lots. If you're just checking in on the channel, please remember to hit that follow button at least. And uh, I will be live again tomorrow. I'm not going to commit to a time because, like I say, I'm just going to. I'm feeling like I could fall asleep right now in front of you guys. So I'm going to go have a sleep. And when I wake up, I'm going to re-log in and start the stream again. And we will uh, catch all you beautiful Dawn servants uh, very shortly. Uh, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. This is your pal. Oh, the tank is loud. Oh, excellent. I love it, brother. Uh, and I will see you down the road very shortly. God bless, guys. See you soon.